welcome to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton, and I know this video is about a month late, right? I am here to help you, hopefully, and help myself get their Google Drive a little more organized. So today I want to give you five steps that you can take right now, today, to help clean up your Google Drive. Let's just jump in. Okay, here we are in my drive. Please, I hope this is a judgment-free zone. Don't be judging me, it's a hot mess. But let's get started. You can work along with me. Go to search your drive and type in copy. Here you will see all the copies that you have made. Oftentimes you have duplicates in here. Sometimes you've already use them, you added your own edits, and you renamed them, and you don't even need these. So kind of glance through and see. This one though, you got to be careful. These two right here, set two and set three, those are not duplicates. But if you have duplicates, I suggest you definitely start there right here. Click on it, press delete on the keyboard, and move it to the trash. If you know you don't need it and you've already created your own edits, your own version, then absolutely delete them. Next step, go to Untitled. These are often things that I've opened, I've started, I never finished, and then I recreated again, and I don't even need these. I can go through here and if I need them, I can retitle them very easily, open them up, give them a title. If you don't need them, get rid of them, delete them. Now that we've got everything labeled and we figured out what we need, let's create folders. Go over here, click on the plus sign and create folders for the main topics. Like for me, I need one for my school stuff. I need one for my YouTube channel and might need one for my cooking things that I like to save or do. So create a folder. Now you will have that over here in your drive. My YouTube folder. If I want to create subfolders, I can do that as well. Just click on, in this case I'm doing YouTube, click folder. I can have a folder for new YouTube content and then so now within my YouTube folder I have two subfolders. The next thing I would suggest to help you get organized is to right click and change the color. Color coordinating your items will definitely help make it pop in your long list of folders. And lastly, because I often use my drive to transfer content from my cell phone to my computer to my laptop, that's the easiest way to transfer content. I'm going to create a spot where I can save my temporary videos. Videos that I only need for a moment. Once I save them and download them to my computer and create my videos, I don't need it anymore. So let's create that one. So create a temporary folder. These are the items that I know that I will not need once I've already downloaded them. So like going back to my drive, here I have this intro outro video. I open it, those three dots, and I can move it. To my YouTube temporary folder. Now I know, once I've finished with this video, I just can go check there for files that I'm ready to delete. So continue transferring your files that you've now labeled and putting them into folders. 
So this one is for my teaching. So I would go to File and then scroll down to where it says Move. I want to put it in my classroom folder and click Move. Hope you found this video helpful. Hope you can get organized even if it's a month into the new year. And if you're looking to get your Google Classroom organized, go ahead and check out the video. I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. Remember, step out and be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day. Bye.